Final Form Games presents... Ooh, what was that? Hey, it's the Air Force Space. The year is 1619. And he has just escaped execution at the hands of his own king. Oh god, what has he done? He might have died of peace, but he wants to clear his name. Which is why he has gone at the edge of human exploration. Well, 1619, that's probably America, why is that the colonization period, I think? Yeah, the New World, that's totally America. Wait, why do we see the Earth from space, by the way? Oh, Mars. What? 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 Jamestown, legend of the lost colony. Yeah, hi there, guys. Playing this shmup based in um, some alternate 6th, 17th century way. Instead of colonizing America, they colonized Mars. Hell, why not? It's there. If they have the technology, apparently they had, they can go. Let's have a quick look through the tutorial because I've actually never been through it. Press any button to view tutorial. Okay, so... Uh, so that's the, your guy at the bottom. You can fire to shoot your normal weapon. Ba 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 ba. That's uh, quite a standard spread thing. And if you press special, then you use your secondary weapon. So that's this beam. Kind of like focus and not focus, but actually not exactly. You die if you get hit, but your hitbox apparently is pretty small. It's right about the guy's torso, I think. When you kill enemies, you get this goal, which charges this gauge and uh, or vaunt meter. And when it's full, you can press bomb. I, I use the bomb button for that. And uh, you enter vaunt mode. Vaunt mode give, makes a small shield appear for a small amount of time. And uh, as you can see, there's this uh, your vaunt gauge disappears. And you get extra score and an extra damage. So it's pretty good. And uh, you can actually recharge the thing during your vault mode, vaunt mode, so it's pretty good. And uh, if you press the vaunt button again during uh, vaunt mode, it makes another small shield appear, even smaller than the previous one though, and uh, completely empties your thing. So, Jamestown, it's, uh, it's a shmup made by Final Frontier Games, I think. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to LP this. So there's five stages. We're going to discover them as we go through the game. And uh, this game is a bit strange because it doesn't really want you to play the whole thing in one go. It's more interested in doing the stages separately. But I'm I'm Toho-minded person, so we're going to play the Gauntlet, which is when you play every level back to back. Yes. So there's uh, five difficulty settings. Uh, kids. Slightly, yes, younger kids, so these might be three years old, and this might be five years old. Easy mode, normal mode, and hard mode. We're playing normal mode. So, so yeah, this game, it's actually a multiplayer co-op game, but we're not going to do this because I'm alone. Too bad. And uh, maybe, maybe someday I'll be able to do a co-op LP uh, of this thing. That would be awesome, but probably not, because... Uh, it's quite complicated to have four people on the same computer. Well, I already played some three players and it was all around hilarious and fun, but yeah, it's hard. So, Walter Rayleigh has arrived in Mars and uh, stuff. You can have a look at that. It's quite the impressive story. The new world is truly a wonder to behold. Da, 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 da. He doesn't have the time. He has to clear his name and do stuff. Yeah, he escaped London. And so Jamestown is a new colony, apparently. Um, da, da, da. He has to find the lost colony of Ranaki. Ranaki was actually a true, real island, I think, in, uh, in America during the colonization period, and stuff happened. And uh, yeah, Ranaki was destroyed or something. And man, flying boats, that's pretty cool. And uh, that's probably us, Walter Rayleigh, ex lord, uh, or, or something. John Smith! Oh man, yeah, John Smith actually. And uh, the Allied. Spanish Martian forces. Oh man, the Spanish are evil people and they want to destroy colonies and stuff. And they have allied with the Martians. And uh, let's go! Chapter 1 War upon the East Frontier, in which a settlement is ravaged by the tentacled Martian swords of the Spanish and a villain appears. 
go. So these are the English soldiers. Uh, they kind of help us, and I'm blue and not red like I was in the tutorial. So you can barely see the enemy Martian robot things because I'm killing them right into their appear. Standard stuff, and vault mode is activated. So basically, the special thing about this game, it's all about the vault mode. It serves as many things. It serves as the panic button slash bomb, you know. Except it doesn't really clear many things, but it still can help you in a pinch if you're about to get hit. However, since it boosts your power, if you keep it for a long time, it's sometimes really interesting. You have to basically try and not press the bomb button, well, the wall button, so like that, too fast, so that you can get your extra power. Also, you want to keep it charged if you want to do that, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's it. So first stage, of course, is pretty simple, but it's actually annoying at times because it's the first stage of the shmup. There's something everyone feels this. I think the first stage of the shmup, shmup is by far the one you play the most because you keep restarting every time you get hit, and you play way more brazenly, if you know what I mean, at the first stage. So here, the English soldiers actually killed a few aliens. That's quite surprising. And to just kill those things. Most of the stuff is aimed for you, except for the sine waves in this level. For you. But and I got hit, and I have to start again. Standard stuff. I tell you, standard stuff. I mean, if this was stage two, I would never, never, ever have done this crazy dodge. And hey, there's a scarecrow. That's it's a four-armed scarecrow. Well, scarecrows are supposed to be scary, so uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And uh, so, stage one. The second time, I still didn't get to charge my force. In fact, not fast enough, doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. Let's stop panicking. And let's just kill Martian robots, I guess. Maybe they're Spanish robots. They Ooh, almost died here. Stage one, I tell you. It's all about the stage one. So there's those jumping things. The enemies with kind of drills above their head. They give you some extra gold if you kill them while they're in the air, I believe. Uh, if you're interested in that sort of that kind of stuff, then I guess telling you was a good idea. But only mainly matters for score purposes, obviously. Like talking about obvious stuff. And uh, <sighs> it's a schmuck. It's a schmuck. Hell yeah! And uh, if you have the time, I sell my usual catchphrase. Have a look at the backgrounds, they're pretty cool looking, it's not tall style at all. This game is not tall style at all. It's a bit more cave inspired, though it's probably not exactly cave either. But, uh, It's still really interesting style to look at, and the st style of the gameplay is pretty good as well. And I wanted to say something, I forgot, with the music, music is... It's not Japanese, basically. It is not Japanese. It's much more... Well, it is more symphonic sounding than tour stuff. That's not really hard to accomplish now, is it? And uh, it's much... It's obviously composed by someone who has studied music previously. For a decent amount. And we're at the end of stage one right now. And uh, the boss appears. It's the traitor prince. Overmind to the Martian rebel forces. Rebel? What? Rebel, rebel, rebel. Sorry about that. Rebel. My English is still broken. And uh, this guy, his most dangerous attack was actually this. It's this one. The first thing he sends at you. Because I keep dying to that for no reason, and it's really annoying. And uh, his first phase is almost over, as you can see on his health bar. And I almost died here. What the hell? So, I'll tell you, this attack is the most annoying, and his second phase is a bit easier. Especially because he gives you gold for you to fall tax. Yeah, about the gold, there's, uh, well, as you can see, different kinds of things. The bigger they are, basically, and the more they charge up your meter. The ones which look like medals pretty much instantly charge your meter, so that's pretty good. And stage one is complete. I got more than a million points, so I gained another extra life, as you can see on the top left. Usually you have two, two lives per credit, and two credits. So, uh, 